we are. We're going to talk about how to analyze maximum, minimum, standard point of function in the space. Very good. Let's start by some definition. So this is an optimization. Let's start by definition. In math, the most important step is the definition. The very first definition is local minimum and local maximum. Extreme values. A function f, so we have a function like f, has a local maximum, local maximum, at a point like a and b, a comma b, if, if locally the z value for the function at any nearby point is less than or equal to the z value of the function at that given point. So again, remember that it is a local analysis when x and y is near. A and B, the point A and B. In that case, we say that F of A and B is the local maximum or the maximum value of the function. In this case, we say that F of A and B is the maximum value. Okay. We have a local maximum. It happens locally. We have local minimum. Definition. A function. F of x and y has the local minimum at a point at a comma b if now the z values at any nearby point are larger than or equal to the z value at a and b again these are nearby points local points In this case, we say that the z value f of a and b is minimum value. When do we say we have absolute minimum, absolute maximum, if these points are all over the domain. So it doesn't have to be exactly near A and B. For any set of points in the domain, if you have this inequality, you're going to have an absolute maximum, absolute minimum. Just a quick note for you. If the above inequalities are true for every point like x and y in the domain. So again, now we don't care if it's nearby A and B or not all over the domain. Then we have absolute maximum and absolute minimum. 
For example, consider the following surface here. For the surface in the space, you have a maximum here and you have a minimum down there. So again, if it's true for all points in the domain, you have an absolute minimum, absolute, absolute maximum, and absolute minimum. If not, if you have other high points, you have a local maximum. If you have other low points, you have local minimum. This is just a visualization of what's going on. Now we're going to move on and try to analyze using the derivatives of the function to help us analyze the local minimum, local maximum, and finding the saddle points. <laughs> 